Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It is the host himself, Ted Talk Money, coming back at you to tell you about Constellation DAG today. As you guys can see here, Constellation is ranked at 298 at the time of this recording. It's costing around six cents. You guys can see right here, if you were actually interested in grabbing yourself some Constellation, it looks like KuCoin is taking on a majority of the volume. KuCoin is taking on the volume and as well nextly here at gate gate now what i want to really go over with you guys today is some of the things i was noticing so please stay tuned now let's break it on down for ourselves why we might be interested in dag what is it really about well you could see here that when it comes down to scarcity there's actually a limited amount of tokens when it comes down to constellation dag with a total supply of around 3.7 billion tokens of course this is actually utilizing a dlt called Called the hypergraph now this technology is actually going to be used for transferability bandwidth of the network for token projects and tokenized data so keep that in mind for every single constellation dag that you do hold it's actually a part of the bandwidth of the network each constellation dag that you hold is a part of the actual network now nextly as well what's actually going to be providing cross-chain liquidity is this thing called the lattice exchange this lattice exchange is similar to the Uniswap exchange. For example, with Ethereum for their swapping, you have the same thing here for Constellation DAG is the lattice exchange. Nextly, here you can see that you have for cons. <clears throat> Nextly, you can see that any kind of liquidity that would be needed for this lattice exchange, DAG would be required. Constellation DAG is required to support the liquidity pools that are swapping on the lattice exchange and for layer zeros, state channels that need liquidity. Now to speak on those layer zeros, to really have an understanding of those state channels, projects looking for liquidity will need to attract DAG, Constellation DAG, to gain the use of the hypergraph network, all right? So also, for those that are running nodes on the actual Constellation DAG network, you can use DAG to run a node on the hypergraph protocol to then validate the data and transactions for the actual hypergraph, all right? DAG is a native cryptocurrency on the constellation decentralized hypergraph network now moving forward right here i want you guys to understand there was actually a partnership between constellation and helium big shout out to them now with that being said guys i'm sure you may have heard of helium we're going to be talking with you guys about the actual hardware and the actual behemoth that has actually come out of of this as you guys can see door devices constellation the door device constellation offers the technology needed for the transition between a connected world having acquired door technologies they're incorporating their hardware into this project the actual technology would be the hypergraph now helium helium enables the construction of decentralized wireless networks through a hotspot device i'm sure you might be familiar with this with your mobile device so now door devices together with the helium connectivity will be used to record foot traffic for retailers worldwide amongst other things data tracking constellation dag is great for that for data verification so both individuals and businesses can be able to be a part of the data ecosystem now here as you guys can see let's expand on this constellation helium connection blockchain leader constellation network partners with the iot network helium to expand data connectivity capabilities and the lower cost now what i want to cover with you guys is this the former door ceo which we covered here door ceo now acquired by constellation the ceo is now appointed as the chief product officer at constellation to oversee the development and introduction of the hardware development let's look into it for ourselves here guys you could see that the constellation um, appointed the door founder to the new chief product officer role leading all development of the iot connected development for the company moving forward the door device gives customers and companies a continuous stream of complex data 
such as customer conversion rates, market campaign effectiveness. You could see there that the Constellation DAG token can be utilized for hypergraph consumption for data confidence using thermal sensing technology to track consumer foot traffic door is capable of sharing data without ever recording or reading PII that's personally identifying information about a single person. The brand created door after he discovered that physical retail access to useful data was rudimentary and significantly behind in capturing the minute details available to online companies. Uh, competition. So again, you're seeing that this hardware development is utilizing Constellation for the future. The current battery powered door unit is entirely wireless and can be installed by simply peeling the backing off and sticking the device in place. Uh, competitive products typically require professional hard wiring and system management that can cost thousands of dollars. So now this helium compatible devices will eliminate the need for integration to the on-site IT infrastructure and eliminate the previous cellular database entirely. Of course, Constellation is positioning itself as a Web3 leader. Want to really talk with you guys about the underlying technology there, the hypergraph. What is the hypergraph? Well, of course, like we said, DAG, of course, is a part of the Constellation hypergraph or their DLT. Hypergraph is a fee list decentralized network or DLT that supports the transfer of the DAG cryptocurrency. It's a DLT known as a directed acyclic graph or a DAG protocol with a reputation based consensus model called proof of reputable observation or pro now to really learn about node validators these are going to be distributed node operators that host nodes for validation that could be the u.s air force that could be the uh the cia any government can work with them so these nodes are rewarded to maintain and govern the actual network also, the Constellation Network is a collection of microservices or state channels. Each of these state channels validate specific data types with user defined validation functions. Now, what I've been noticing here, as you guys can see, this is the Constellation DAG four hour chart. You guys can see that it's been on quite the bullish run as of recently. Really, when it comes down even to the 15th of January, we've seen ourselves have quite the bit of a bullish rise here. Looking forward to seeing what we're going to have actually happen in the next level four constellation DAG. As you guys can see, the data confidence is becoming more and more important. Guys, I appreciate you really being a part of this channel and watching and making it to this part of the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe and as well hit that bell if you love constellation DAG. But thanks for watching. I'll holler at you later. Peace.